Harvest is my favorite time of year. People are working really hard. It's just this charge that you get. And every year seems to have that same energy to it when the grapes come in. And you have the October, it's cold, you're picking, you're making all these decisions, fermentations going on, and it's just a sense of like a new creation. Stoller style, we're going for elegance. Elegant yet powerful wine. So the grapes that our site grows, we lend to a very fruit forward wine. We have an early ripening site. We've got jory soil, that's that red volcanic well draining soil. And our site is a moderate elevation between 200 and 650 feet. The site produces this wine that has really beautiful tannins that can be very fine grained, moderate acidity, and some earthiness. Those components come through every vintage, whether it's a cool vintage or a hot one. I really just want to accentuate those ingredients in the glass based on the vintage. And so winemaking stylistically will change year to year based on what I get in, but the vision is to make this ageable, elegant yet powerful wine. Chardonnay can be a big star of the show here at Stoller, and I think Chardonnay is going through this interesting evolution. But Oregon, with our cooler climates, tends to lend a, um, a Chardonnay that has more spice, more acid, kind of more of a citrus, lighter bodied, spicy components to it, and definitely is true here at Stoller. And so stylistically, that's what I'm trying to focus on for our, for our Chardonnay. So at the end of the day, what you have in your glass is a food-friendly, very aromatic, spicy, uh, bright Chardonnay. Well, right now we're sorting the Pinot Noir that we have picked today. And what we're sorting for is leaves, uh, any kind of stem material, clusters that didn't quite make the cut, I mean, be anything with detritus, stuff like that. So sorting, and then it's going into the destemmer, and then the berries are going whole into the tank to cold soak, and then they'll start fermenting in about five days, five to seven days. We have good music, typically. That's, that varies based on opinions. It catches on, all that energy of harvest. It's really just interesting because everybody gets in the groove and the day just kind of flies by. I think if you really are going to be a winemaker, you have to be getting your hands dirty. And this concept of winemakers not doing those things is not the Oregon model, per se, because we are a smaller size industry. And, and it's important, and it's also exciting, I think, to have your hand in everything like that. As the fermentation progresses, you're tasting that new wine to see when you want to stop the process of the, the fermentation with the skins and the seeds. After the wine has been fermented in the tanks up here, it is transferred to another set of tanks on our settling level where it will stay for three to five days and the solids in that wine settle out. Then that new wine traverses to the cellar, to the barrel room, where it will spend anywhere from 10 to 18 months in oak barrels. In the cellar, what we are doing is assessing the different sections of the vineyard that we've kept separately for quality, looking for any potential problems that might come around this time of year with the secondary fermentation or the aging, and really just trying to get a feel for what each parcel of the vineyard has given us to work with this season. And so routine sampling of the, the, the lots really helps cement in your mind um, an impression of what you have to work with. We always have in our mind the style of which wine we're trying to create. So we come to the table knowing we're making ultimately two main blends. The JV is intended to be consumed at an earlier age, very approachable, and a set style. And so is the SV being a cellarable, ageable, elegant, complex Pinot Noir. So we take those visions to the table when we're blending and we work with the pieces that we're given to create those two different blends. This is my eighth vintage with Stoller and every year, this time of year, there's a real sense of satisfaction. This is, you know, post-harvest, post-intense, exciting period, but it also is the beginning of the life of this wine to me because you get a sense of the vintage in the glass, you're looking ahead to blending and you're really getting a, a sense of all your hard work in the glass.